So uh, when a Granger account manager is walking into a facility, say a manufacturing facility, uh, you know, or, or talking to their government account, man, uh, their government customers uh, or healthcare, uh, what should they be looking for uh, in order to talk to them about your products? Yeah, I mean, I kind of break that down into are, are they an existing Strap user or are they a new Strap user? Maybe they're not using Strap at all and they want to move to a product like that. So if it's an existing Strap user, there, there's a few questions I like to ask. And, and, I, and I think um, by using just kind of like some standard questions, um, it really can help uh, a distributor salesperson go into an account and and ask the questions in, in kind of an orderly manner, and, and you'll you'll get the answers you need to to, to recommend the product, and it'll it'll help you um, actually kind of know look like you you know what you're talking about when you do that. So um, you know we always want to ask what what is the application, you know you know how is your strapping being used. Um, and, and what is being strapped? That's always very important. We want to know, is it a, you know, usually strapping falls into two categories. We're either using strapping to palletize something, or we may be using it to do some smaller uh, bundling uh, of, of products or, or, or closing a, a, a box or something like that. So that's usually where it breaks into. So we want to know, you know, are we, are we strapping something that's, you know, uh, you know, non-compressible, or are we strapping something that, that is compressible? Um, you know, how, how are you using the strapping? Is the strapping being applied manually with a tool, or is it being applied automatically with a strapping machine? Um, always like to ask, what color is the strapping? That usually will, will give us some indications of what it is and how it's being used. Um, also, what's, what's, the, what's the surface of the strapping? Is it smooth, or does it have uh what we call embossing which makes the strap kind of have it has a waffle sort of patterned on it um that's usually the way i describe it and people understand that um is the strapping is it shiny or does it have a dull appearance that a lot of times will tell us what type of strapping it is um, and then how is it being held together is it being held together with like mechanical seals and wire buckles uh or is it being does it look like it's melted together or, you know, what we, we may use either heat or friction to, to, to hold the strapping together. Um, and then uh, also, you know, we, we always, if, if, we, if we're trying to figure out what type of strapping, you know, we're trying to replace a, a strapping that's in there, you know, if, if we can't figure out, we can always say, all right, give me a sample, cut off a piece or take some pictures. That's always very helpful to see applications too. So, um, so that's some of the stuff we ask when we're talking about an existing strap user. Excellent. And, and when they're, when they're at the customer facility, you know, take a manufacturing facility, uh, a great place to go to, to see if they're using uh, uh, strapping material is uh, their shipping department, basically where their loading docks are, um, you know, because usually the strapping, uh, the, the machines will be there or the battery powered tools will be in that general vicinity because they strap them up onto a pallet or, or strap the box closed before they load it into the truck. So that's a good area to, to take a look to see uh, if, if they're currently using uh, strapping products. Certainly, yeah, the, the, the shipping department and obviously the production floor also is where we want to kind of focus our efforts too. So. Mm -hmm. yeah.